Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Friday, the 3rd of September. And today we celebrate the life of St. Gregory the Great. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, verses 33 to 39. The Pharisees and the scribes said to Jesus, John's disciples are always fasting and saying prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees too. But yours go on eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Surely you cannot make the bridegroom's attendants fast while the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come, the time for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. That will be the time when they will fast. He also told them this parable. No one tears a piece of new, from a new cloak to put it on an old cloak. If he does, not only will he have torn the new one, but the piece taken from the new will not match the old. And nobody puts new wine into old skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins and then run out, and the skins will be lost. No, new wine must be put into fresh skins. And nobody who has been drinking old wine wants new. The old is good, he says. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned earlier, we celebrate the life today of Pope St. Gregory the Great. St. Gregory was born in Rome in the year 540, and he had a career in public service, which was very usual for the son of an aristocratic family. He held the post of prefect of Rome for some years. He founded a monastery in Rome and in a few other places. And then he became a monk himself and then was ordained a deacon. He was elected Pope in the year 590, the first monk to be elected to the office of Pope. Pope St. Gregory the Great wrote extensively on pastoral care, spirituality, and morals. And he designated himself as the servant of the servants of God. He died in the year 604. So today we celebrate his life, and in the tradition of the church, we ask St. Gregory the Great, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, take care, and God bless. Thanks, everyone.